Hey up YouTube, Ryan Potter, the Yacht Filmmaker, and today I'm going to be going out and buying a brand new tripod. For all that, roll those titles. Boom! Um. Yeah, you have. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah. So I've come to Kerry's PC World. I'm going to take you in there. Oh, look, there we go. And uh, we're going to uh, go and have a look and see what tripods I've got here. Usually they have a good collection of uh, man protos and stuff. So let's have a look. Let's have a date. Let's have a boom. Let's go. So Curry's PC World is a no go because they ain't got the one I want to stop. So let's see if Argos have any. So, oh no, it's not Argos. This is going well. I got to have any either. I'm a bit uh, exhausted because there's not many places you can buy this sort of stuff in uh, Bradford. So let's uh, let's have a, a, a look on the Google. So I've uh, I remembered there's a little uh, a little photo shop, like a photography and gear shop in um, North Parade. So I'm heading down to have a look there. It's about a two three minute walk from where I parked because it's uh, free to park where I park. So yeah, do that. So I'm here, it's a nice little place, if you have a look here. So much stuff. So yes, I've bought a new tripod. So let's get this bad boy open. Oh god, it's got polystyrene. I hate polystyrene. Makes me cringe. I'll have a look at what that is in a minute. Comes in a nice bag. So I've gone for the Hammer um, Omega Premium 2. Um, that's quite cool. It's got a zip on the side on the bag. Put stuff in, it's got an Allen key in there, so I'm guessing there's something to do with an Allen lock on this. Allen lock! Allen! Nice sturdy bag with it, that's actually quite a good thing. So let's have a look at the actual tripod itself. So I'm not actually going to be able to properly test this out until tomorrow. And then I'm going to the lakes. Or somewhere. On Sunday. Look at that, that's quite sturdy. That's strong. Got a couple of lock places. Really strong uh, legs as well. Ah, that's a spin lock. That's quite tall. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. You see, one of the main things is I, I very rarely use a tripod. Now, there's certain shots where I would use tripods. Uh, so if I was shooting an actual film and I wanted to do like a close-up shot or the shoulder shot, nine times out of ten I would do um, using a tripod. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using this for when I do a lot of like, I'm going to try and do some more um, exposure photography, long exposure, because uh, I have done a lot of that recently. So let's have a look at what the box says. They always show box. I've never done an unboxing. They always show the things. Yes. The 3D tilt head allows perfect alignment for landscape and portrait shots. Quick release plate for quickly changing the camera. Flexible rubber, rubber feet for an improved hold and secure grip on uneven surfaces. 
the spikes at the tripod feet ensure that a particularly firm and steady grip is maintained on soft or slippery surfaces. Camera tripod for non-jerky images and a steady hold on uneven surfaces. Suitable for photo and video cameras. System with extra large camera platform and video pin. Locking grip for vertical tilts and horizontal pans. With a large functional quick action leg locks, the tripod legs can easily be quickly fixed at a required height or position. The legs are covered with non-slip foam, which makes the tripod suitable for all kinds of weather. Removable rubber feet and spirit file. Buy yours today. But yeah, it's got quite a cool few features actually. Now, I hate polystyrene. <laughs> it's all polystyrene. I hate how it feels on your fingers. Jeez. Jeez. Quite heavy actually. This, I've got to admit. This is solid. That is solid. Could knock someone out with that. Not condoning knocking anyone out with it, just so you know. Oh, you get an extra quick release plate with it. That's pretty sweet, actually, because quite a lot of the times you don't always get a second quick release plate. So we've got a quick release plate on the actual thing itself. So I can have this camera with a release plate on. And then this release plate I could put onto something else. And then swap it and change it, which actually that's pretty damn sweet. That not a bad shout, Hammer. Not a bad shout at all. This this is quite a decent quite a decent head actually. I'm not gonna lie. Right, give me a couple of seconds to put it on. That is, that is pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie, that is solid as, as solid can be. That's as solid as solid can be. Do you know, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty chuffed with this. Pretty chuffed indeed, look. Strong. Worst thing is quite a lot of these tripods, you get this section at the bottom and then it just goes like that and then it opens. This has actually got a lock there so you can't just knock it out of place. Which means that if you want to get it at a decent height, and you want to extend the height a little bit, you can. It's not going anywhere in that. Oh, look at that bad boy. Mental! So I've got a recording of a dance show that I'm going to be doing um, tomorrow evening. So I'm going to be using that and I'll do a little bit of a review on it and uh, I'll upload that at another time. Um, so this was just sort of an unboxing of the Hammer Omega Premium 2. Just need to say that I'm not endorsed to um, say that I'm using this or what I'm thinking about this because I've gone and bought it out of my own money because it seems like it's going to be pretty decent uh, but we'll see how it is hold up to five kilogram which is quite good because I, I don't think any of my rigs go any heavier than than probably two and a half so you know nice little tripod so we'll give it a good test like I say I'm not endorsed by um, Hammer all I've done is gone out and I said I want I went to the block, I'm like, I want a uh, tripod. I've only got 80 quid, but it needs to be of a decent standard. Bollocks. Loving can hurt, loving can hurt sometimes, but it's the only.